There's a new push to make cocktails infused with wholesome ingredients that can improve immunity and offer a tasty tonic for your teeth. Daniel Burris joins us. He's a bartender with Bitter Cube, and he's here to talk to us about a new trend in mixology. <laughs> if you're going to have some cocktails, let's make them healthier. Mm -hmm. yeah, good morning. Yeah, good morning to you. Yeah, basically what we did was we... Uh, um, partnered up with the uh, American Academy of Cosmetic Dentistry uh -huh. um, and we created some cocktails that are actually uh, very uh, uh, helpful to your smile. They're, they're healthy uh, for, your, for your teeth. This so, is uh, official. It's yeah. official. This yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it took some time, a little bit of uh, uh, getting used to it. It was a little bit outside of our box yeah. uh, with uh, using specific types of ingredients that were approved by the Academy mm -hmm. um, to put together a cocktail list. Uh, the cocktail list actually is available for free online. Uh, and uh, at uh, www.aacd.com uh, slash okay. smile That is a lot to give yeah, it's you. It's a lot to take <laughs> Not in. Not to worry, we put it on our web channel, yeah. nbc15.com, and just click on news links, and you have the link. Okay, so, what did you bring, and let's talk about some of these fancy looking yeah, ingredients. These are bitters right here. Uh, the bitters are basically uh, like concentrated liquid spice. So okay. um, what we're going to do is we're going to do a cocktail called Upon Return with uh, fresh pineapple and cognac mm -hmm. and some agave nectar. So I'm going to muddle up this pineapple right away and hopefully it doesn't jump out of the shaker any more than it already did. <laughs> we got a little science experiment little going science on here experiment. in the morning yeah. show. Yeah. Why yeah, exactly. pineapple? Um, pineapple is actually uh, with the acidity um, and the fact that it actually makes you uh, 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 create more saliva in your mouth. It's almost like a natural mouthwash, believe mm -hmm. it or not. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to add some fresh lemon juice, which is actually a, uh, a, a natural whitener, believe it or not. And a lot of people think... Uh, Acidity is actually bad. It can be bad uh, over long periods, periods of time, but if you're actually uh, doing small amounts um, and then your normal you know, brushing sessions, sure. it's actually mm -hmm. considered a okay. natural whitener. Okay, we've missed a couple. What were the other two? We had this lemon was, juice? Uh, lemon juice. This was uh, some uh, orange liqueur. That was the cognac that cognac, I spoke of. Yep. Okay. yep, and then this is some fresh agave nectar. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Now, where yeah. would I get something like agave nectar? Regular grocery store. Regular right next to all store. the, uh, yeah, yeah, you're... Uh, your molasses and all that other fun okay. stuff that they have for baking and cooking. So we're gonna get some of this huge chunked ice up in here real quick. And the story behind the name of the drink is kind of cool too, you were saying. Yeah, it's called uh, Upon Return uh, because uh, pineapple is actually not indigenous to the uh, uh, to to Europe. Mm -hmm. So uh, 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 the settlers would actually go back home and visit family and bring it home with them. To bring so. the pineapple back. Yep. Oh. It's a great fruit. It's nice and fresh. <laughs> oh, it is. I love pineapple. Mm -hmm. I did bring extra, so feel free to have a have breakfast have, if you'd oh, yes. like. Yeah, a nice healthy breakfast, good for your teeth. Mm -hmm. That's good. <laughs> so, how is this being received in the Milwaukee area? It's been this great. Uh, we we actually featured a few of these cocktails at uh, our uh, bar, uh, Blue Jacket Bar in Milwaukee, mm -hmm. a new new restaurant that we just opened up that we're partners with. Um, and essentially, it's it's been going over really well. People have really been digging it. All so what are other fruits that you could also use? You said strawberries pineapples are, are yeah, strawberries, yeah, are, strawberries good? are good. Uh, you would think the dye would be bad, but actually the seeds help as like natural scrubbers for your teeth. Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did not realize that. Neither what else? Did what I. other fruits? Um, kiwi is another one. Like kiwi. I said, lemon juice. Uh, but then there are even weirder things like uh, quinoa and mm. uh, sea salt as well. We did a cocktail where we put a little bit of uh, sea salt in the cocktail, and it it kind of brought out some uh, some some other notes uh, in, in the cocktail, and apparently is great for the teeth. Yeah. And we should also say too, these are also can be turned into non-alcoholic drinks as well. Absolutely. Because when I looked on the website again, that's at NBC15.com. Just click on news links. You also you could do these non-alcoholic as well. So, how do people respond oh. when you tell them that this is good, uh, good for their teeth? Uh, they they kind of freak out. Do they? They're, they don't believe you. They're kind <laughs> of like, this is, this is ridiculous. There's no way. Yeah. All right, Daniel, we want to thank you so much for, yeah. for coming here. And, and uh, again, if you wanted to have any questions uh, directed to Daniel or wanted to get any information on what you just saw here, it is all on our web channel. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Sure, thank this you. is a Appreciate really it. neat push, a neat you start. You could be the head of the party with this, right? Yeah, we, well, feel free to imbibe. You can try these out if you'd like before. <laughs> thank you. Appreciate <laughs> it. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah. Hey, very quickly before we get.